What do you want to be when you grow up? Tennis player. I would like to be a tennis player. Two black girls from Compton probably weren't supposed to ever play tennis, let alone be really good at it. My dad is the one that had the most revolutionary ideas in terms of changing the game. I written a plan before they were born, 78 pages. The plan was for both of them to become number one in the world. It really surprised me when both of them are that good. My parents told me it'd be number one in the world. <laughs> I was brainwashed. When she won her first pro tournament, the media just went through the roof. I was there. I was watching. It was, I couldn't believe it. I went up to Richard and I said, I think you got the next Michael Jordan on your hand. And he goes, no, brother, man. I got the next two. Serena Williams is still getting better and better and better. Sisters just 15 months apart. What would be the odds they could not only choose the same profession, but dominate it? Their style is very independent and quite rebellious, and that's part of who they are and why people pay attention. There's a lot of jealousy. There's a lot of resentment. There's an intimidation factor. And you're married in November. <laughs> right now, I'm fearful of the pressure, but I have to overcome all that. Surprising announcement by Venus Williams that she is pulling out of the U.S. Open to tend to her health. And there's not a sport that tears your body up worse than tennis. A tennis player doesn't have a long career. The tragedy for every athlete is age. <laughs> the inevitability of not being able to pursue your dream because your body won't follow you. I wanted to go out and know for sure that I couldn't play. Everybody has been talking about the return of the Williams sisters. The Williams take the Australian Open. Venus Serena transcended the sport. Through their injuries, it's kind of woken people up to the reality that there would be a tremendous void when they're gone.